Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pretty little thing try on haul. Hashtag not sponsored. I bought it myself. So I have this massive bag of clothing right here. So I have this massive bag right here of stuff that I ordered for myself and of course Aaron. We share clothing. So really quick in the intro of this video, I just wanted to quickly address some comments I have seen on my previous videos where I've bought things for myself. I get completely what you're saying. You're like, is this girl a shopaholic? Does she buy something new for herself every day of the week? I get that perception 100%. So YouTube is my job. It's my career. It's been that way for a long time, many, many years. And with that being said, we have to create our own content. So if I want to do an honest review of pretty little things I have to order myself clothing hey that's a great perk of the job right it's not necessarily that I'm a shopaholic and that I just buy 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 it's more so my channel I review a lot of things I unbox a lot of things it's how I create content so in order for me to do that I do have to purchase things online so it comes across sometimes to some people that you know wow she just buys a lot of stuff for herself all the time but just wanted to say it out of my own mouth that I'm not buying it because I like to have all the these things I buy it to review for you guys and to create fun new fresh content for you guys so I just wanted to kind of set the record straight on that or if there's any you know confusion on that or I, I don't know it's like perception is reality and what I'm putting out is that I am a shopaholic and you know maybe I am <laughs> shopaholic sounds like it maybe I am but um it's part of my job you know it's how I create content if I didn't buy anything. I don't know what I would really do for content, but I've always, my whole career, had to purchase things to create videos, you know, unless it's makeup that's sent to me. So it's just part of the job. And I hope you guys understand that. So with that being said, not to be a downer or be like, hey, people are saying I'm a shopaholic. I mean, I've been called worse, right? So we're going to unbox some clothing that I bought. <laughs> Some for Erin, some for me. Erin was gonna do this haul with me, but she has school this morning. And my birthday is September the 1st, Tuesday. I wanted to film it before my birthday, so I don't have to film on my birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and film it, which is little old me. So I hope you guys are excited. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, subscribe today. And one more really, really, really quick announcement is that we are gonna do a little Labor Day sale on my website, Larley Los Angeles. We'll have Nudie Patootie for 20 and our liquid lipsticks will be $7. And that will be it for the Labor Day sale. It'll be this weekend only and it will end on Sunday. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that and now we can officially jump right into this video. Okay, so here we have our bag and would it be a Larley video if I didn't open it with some eyebrow scissors? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm trying to find some. We found them. These are just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Here we go. Here we go. I don't remember ordering any shoes, but uh, we have some pretty little pink shoes right here. So let's open them up. Oh, yes, I do remember these. <laughs> I think they're kind of cute. These are like the grandpa cutting grass shoes. Kind of like your dad would wear to Home Depot kind of shoe. Your grandpa would wear to a uh, 5 a.m. dinner kind of shoe. And I ordered some because they look really comfy. I've been trying to find the Adidas Oswego, I believe they're called, sneakers. And these are kind of look like a dupe for them. They're sold out everywhere in the nude shade. And I'm like, <laughs> Them. I like comfort and I like plain tennis shoes because you can kind of dress them up and wear them with whatever. So anyways, I picked up these and they look really cute. I think I got them in a seven. So there's that. I will try these on with an outfit. If you guys are new to these videos or you're new here, one, God bless you. And two, I talk about the clothes and then we go back and forth trying them on. So I will try those on during the video at some point with an outfit. Okay, the first thing is, it actually came in, it shipped really, really fast. I always like to review the shipping on things for you guys so you have an idea. This shipped fast. I wanted some jean shorts. So here's the thing, I have some jean shorts, but that are like looser and kinda torn and distressed like this, but they are not high-waisted. So I always have to wear a big t-shirt with them and I want some high-waisted jean shorts so I can wear a crop top with them. So so these are mid blue wash distressed denim. Okay, it doesn't really say. I bought them in the size, they have a UK sizing. So I bought them in the size eight. I hope that that works out, but from the waist, it looks like it's gonna work out. Before I try these on, I'm gonna pull out a shirt so I can try it on together as an outfit and you can like fill out the whole vibe. Okay, so I bought just a plain, it's called Biscuit Jersey V-neck Ruche shirt. <laughs> 
what size did I get her in? I got her in a USA size six. So this is what the shirt looks like. The material is extremely thin on the shirt. I don't think it's see-through or anything like that, but you might have to wear a good bra with it. But it looks like this. I bought a neutral shirt, shocking. I love wearing neutrals. And it ruches up on the side, which I thought was very cute detailing. Just like a casual shirt that you can kind of pair with anything. So I'm gonna try these two on together. I'm gonna try them on with the sneakers because I think the whole outfit would be really cute. Guys. Everywhere we go, where is she? <laughs> Under us. Oh, no, no, no. It's a weak girl. Big baby. Oh, it's a weak girl. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. So it turns out the size six short is perfection. And then I didn't buy a size eight in the jeans. Well, a size 10. Like, why did I do that? Like, now I'm so pissed they're not going to fit me. Anyways, the shorts are probably going to be my most favorite shorts because they are not too tight up in here. They're really loose but they're nice and flat fitted here and high waisted. Oh, look at that booty. Oh, I love the way the shorts look. I also think this shirt is cute. Just a simple shirt with some ruching in it. I think the whole outfit's cute guys. So check out the shoes on. Oh, she got them Balenciagas. These are knockoff Balenciagas. <laughs> I see. But you guys, some of you guys hate these and I understand that, but you know, I'm into comfort fashion they look good they're cute and it's a cute outfit huh like yeah. all together honestly those look better than the balenciaga yeah balenciaga. i think these look better too they're not quite as hunky chunky not as chunky yeah that's People the problem the balenciagas right now are watching like screaming all right <laughs> but i really like this outfit i really love these shorts you're gonna see them on me a lot just know that okay okay but um yeah it's good it's all good we are moving on to September finally. It's been a long time to get here. It feels like we were in like March day, like 300. But we're in September, which for me, it's officially spooky season. I don't know about you guys, but September 1 is spooky season, okay? Even though it's still 100 degrees outside, it is still spooky season to me. I am so sick and tired of summer. I really enjoy summer weather, but like, you know, summer comes and she stays for a really long time where I live. She may come and go quickly for you, but we get like a blinking uh, fall. It's like summer, 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 fall for like a day or two. Kind of winter. I don't know. I wouldn't consider California winter. Summer, 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 summer. It's always summer here. So I'm tired of it. I'm ready for fall. I already have my fall candles lit, okay? And no one's gonna stop me. Okay, for our next outfit. Oh my God, did I buy jeans? Someone might as well mystery shop for me because I cannot remember anything that I bought. <laughs> okay, so for our next outfit, I bought the Kindle Light Wash Super Distress Mom Jean. I bought these in the size 10. I wonder why I did the shorts in an eight and these in a 10. I really don't make much sense. The 10 looks like it might be a little loose. Watch it fit me perfectly. But I loved how these jeans were skinny, high-waisted, and super distressed. I don't think they're gonna be my size. I'm so mad at myself. Why did I order this? Oh, Laura, 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 Laura. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I'm an impulse shopper. I just like, went on a spew on how I'm not a crazy shopaholic and now I'm calling myself an impulse shopper. I don't know what's happening, but these look like they're gonna be too big because of my mistake, but they look adorable. So I'm gonna find a cute shirt and I'm going to try the cute shirt on with the jeans. I especially love the light wash color of these jeans. I love light wash jeans. I think they're so trendy and cute. I found a bodysuit that I bought. It is called the White Square Neck Sleeveless Thong Bodysuit. So, ooh, this looks really pretty. Oh, I remember why I bought this. By the way, in case you're wondering, I got it in a size six. I think a six is equivalent to like a medium there. This is what it looks like. It like has a square neck. The camera lighting is kind of bright, so you can't really see, but it's just a plain white bodysuit. I pretty much bought the exact same bodysuit from Zara. It's like the same material and everything. But the one from Zara cost more and I washed it one time. I washed it with like white clothing, but something in the wash still got on it. This is like a spandexy material. I wonder if it says what it's made out of on here. I don't know, but it doesn't really feel cottony. It feels more like almost like a swimsuit. And and I can't get it out, not even with bleach. So I, the shirt's ruined, but this is like a dupe for it. So I bought another one so I would have it, but I'm gonna try this shirt on with the jeans together as an outfit. So you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna maybe tie the jeans up in the back and make them work. Cause they are gonna be so cute. Ugh. But yeah, I'm gonna try it on together. We'll see what it looks like. Okay guys. 
So the shirt, let's talk about that first. It fits me perfectly. The size was perfect and it is like a total dupe for my Zara shirt. It feels the exact same. Very comfortable. Really happy I picked it up and you can wear this with like endless outfits. It is a bodysuit, so just a heads up on that. Love the shirt. The jeans, of course, I bought them a little too big. Ty says they kind of just look like loose baggy jeans. They don't look like so big. They're supposed to be like this, guys. Like they're supposed to be like high-waisted mom jeans, like mm. this. Yeah, you bought them too big then. Yeah, so they're supposed to look like this on. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> You're like, yep, that does not work. <laughs> I think I just accidentally clicked the wrong size. Like, I was like... But this is kind of how they look like on. So if you wanted a bag year moment, which I'm not going to get rid of them yet. I'm going to see. By the way, I donate all the clothing that I'm not wearing. I don't just like throw it away. But, you know, I might see if I can finagle them and get them to work. But, yeah, that's my bad. But I'll tell you this. If they were my size, they would be the cutest jeans ever. And I might either try to exchange them or just order some more and donate these. One or the other thing is gonna happen because I really like the color and the shape of them. They're cute and they're quite comfortable, so, you know, in a perfect world. Okay, our next item is this little pink thing in a bag. It's called Baby Pink Ribbed Hem Bandeau Cross. Honey, this is a tiny thin piece of fabric. I hope I didn't pay very much for this. Yeah, it's like barely nothing. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I really like to do with these? I like to buy these pieces like this and I like to wear them as a shirt and then put like a big oversized button down shirt over the top of them so I'm a little more covered and just like let the bandeau be the cute summer moment and you can, I'm just looking at my cat, he started moving. And then you can kind of like let your button down shirt be kind of slouchy. So yeah, that is what I bought this for, I believe, initially. I think it'd be really cute though, especially on some of these hot summer days, y'all. This is the pink tube top. It's pretty simple, not much going on here. As I said before, I'll probably throw over a shirt with it. But it's a simple shirt, you know. I think it was really cheap, so I grabbed it to like make it as like, I don't know, just an easy piece to throw on it, especially because it's so hot. It feels good sometimes to wear pieces like this. And I thought it was just a cute summery shirt. Although I just said we were entering into fall. I did buy a summer shirt, but I like it. I think it's it's, it's like really thin, but I think it's it's cute. Okay, the next thing I bought is the oversized boxy t-shirt. I bought it in a size 8. I am to the point where I steal all of my husband's shirts because I love oversized big t-shirts. And he is a size large. And then I came to the point where I'm like, why am I even buying myself size small and medium t-shirts when I'm stealing all my husband's large? So I started buying all of my t-shirts in a large and now I don't steal ties anymore. I'm like, hello, the wires connected in my brain. So yeah, I buy oversized tees. I love them. They're more comfortable. I feel more comfortable in them. I feel, I don't know. It is, you know, been a weird year and oversized tees is where it's at. Let me just, let me just say that. Okay, so I bought an oversized tee. The reason I bought this one is I liked how the sleeves kind of rolled up a little bit, but I also bought this one because of the color. I love neutrals and I felt like I could wear this with anything at all and it would look pretty cute. You can also tie oversized tees up, which is really cute. So if you wore them, you know, you can like tie a little knot in it and dress it up that way. It was cheap and it's a nice little oversized tee. And the best thing about these, if you ever don't like them, you can turn them into night night t-shirts. So this shirt I like a little bit more than what I thought. I thought it was just like a plain neutral t-shirt, but it's actually really, really, really soft. Like way more soft than a typical t-shirt. It just feels super cozy. The sleeves roll up a little bit, which I don't know if I'll love because after you wash shirts like this and the sleeves roll up, they get all like weird and bunchy, like messy looking. So I might clip the little sewn piece right here and unroll the sleeves, but I like the shirt. This whole outfit, by the way, is like a cute little summer or fall outfit, depending on what the weather's like where you're at. Everything matches, and I think it looks all good together. By the way, this plant, please don't, <laughs> like it's here, but please don't judge her, okay? She's had a really hard life because I'm a terrible owner. <laughs> Laura put her outside. <laughs> I put her outside to repot her, 
And then I forgot that I put her outside. And then I went outside and she was dead. So this is what I have left. She's coming back, kind of. She's burnt in a few places. She's burnt, okay? She was way worse than what she is. Anyways, back to the t-shirt. I'm it's probably like, gonna order more. It's like it might fit me. Yeah, right. I mean like unisex. Bomb. Affordable. Okay, and then I bought two dresses, which I'm gonna obviously try them on for you. This one is like a little cotton dress. I bought it in the size four. I just really went all over the place when it came to sizes. I mean, I was just like, whatever. So this is what it looks like. It's like a long leopard print, or honestly, this is more cheetah print, black and white dress. It is like a cotton dress. It feels like a t-shirt. Like the material of the dress feels like a t-shirt. It has a long slit in it. And I just thought this would be a really comfortable but very cute item to wear out and about with some sneakers or some slides and maybe like a little hat you could wear it to the beach wear it out wherever you're going to the very few places that I go I might be able to wear something like this so I thought it was cute I liked the print on it and they didn't really have something like this so that's why I chose it but we'll see how it looks on because that is always the real conversation Yep. Okay, I really like this dress. It is um, just so comfortable. It's like a tank top t-shirt dress. This is what it looks like in the back. It has um, a nice slit in it, so it's very cool to wear. Kind of a fashion moment. This is definitely a dress. It's really cute. So I feel like you could wear it out and dress it up if you wanted to, like a little jean jacket with it or something. But I would totally wear this around the house because it is so comfortable. Or slip it over your swimsuit, wear it at the pool. I feel like it's very versatile. So I like it. The dress is definitely a win. Okay, this is the last piece, you guys. Here guys, you guys. I got this mesh. So this is more of a leopard. Leopard has some quite a different print to me. This has like a ruchy neckline. It is a doubled layer. It has two layers, which I like that, of mesh top. This one is called Brown Mesh Leopard <laughs> Ruch Body Contrast. I got it in a size eight. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And then it has some, uh, I don't know how I feel about that though. I don't think I actually like that. Did I even notice that? I don't know, on the site. We'll try it on and see what it looks like, but it has like this like, extra fabric which seems a little unnecessary at the end of it i think it kind of cheapens it it also ruches at the side right here now i'm really iffy about it now that i'm looking at it i'm like what did this look like online <laughs> but we'll try it on and see what it looks like and see if it is cute or not we'll try it on All right, so this is the next dress. It is way more fitted than I thought, but I actually think it's really cute because of how fitted it is. I don't mind the ruching as much on the bottom. You know, just looking at it in person, I was like, mm, what's that gonna look like? But the dress overall, it's cute. What do you think about this tie? I like it. It looks good. The ruching is it maybe kind of looks, it looks a little cheap. cheap. Yeah. yeah. How sheer it is, mm -hmm. but yeah, the ruching makes it look a little cheap, I think. But I mean, you could probably cut the ruching off, maybe. I that's don't know. true. It'd be really short, though. Yeah. So I like the dress, though. I think it's a cute dress. If you don't mind the ruching, I think you'd like it too. For me, it's a little. It's like okay, but yeah, this is what the back looks like. I love the mesh and I love the pattern on it. So there's that. But yeah, I think this was the last piece. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Don't forget to check out our sale on Lauren Lee Los Angeles this weekend. We have Nudie for 20. We have our liquid lipsticks for $7. They're originally 16. And if you're wondering what lip color I have on today, I have Jaybird on today. And here's the bad news with that. We sold out of Jaybird and we'll be back to the end of September. But if you sign up on our website under the notify me tab, you'll get an, a little email whenever um, it pops back in stock. We sell out of all of our neutrally favorite colors. So, mm. but we do have a lot of liquid lipsticks available for $7 this weekend. Be sure and check them out. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love you guys. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next video.